there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to The Geek Group. Today we are kicking off a series of videos that we're going to be doing about electronic cigarettes. Now we did a video a while back because it was just one of those things of this is something that impacted my life that I want to share with the world because I'm really excited about it. And we did a thing talking about my particular brand of e-cig, I Smoke Volcanoes. Now understand when we did that, Volcano wasn't a sponsor or anything. I did that because this is something I believe in. Well, Volcano saw it and went, oh wow, we like you. We like the geek group. We think what you do is awesome and we want to help out. So v Volcano has become a sponsor and they've agreed to send me stuff and they're going to send us stuff and we get to take it apart and share it with you. So this is really cool. Now, what I'm going to do is make a whole series of videos that covers all the basic knowledge you need to know about dealing with e-cigs. Now, the first thing I want you to know right up front, this, this is important, just carve this into your leg with a big giant like uh, uh, sickle blade. Uh, some people call it a Kaiser blade, I call it a sling blade. But yeah, you want, just take, take a big hunting knife and carve this into your leg because I want you to remember this for the rest of your life, okay? This is not a quit smoking system. Understand it, say it with me. This is not a quit smoking system. Now we're gonna talk about e-cigs, which are electronic cigarettes. They're, they're these things and we love them. These are not analog cigarettes. Analog cigarettes are the regular, you know, fire and tobacco and cancer and death. <laughs> I was in your big war, that kind of cigarette, okay? This is the new stuff, this is the new hotness. We're gonna get rid of the analog. So it's not quitting smoking, it's an alternative to smoking regular cigarettes. Now the reason why people do this is because regular cigarettes kill your punk ass, basically is how it works. They, you will die. They kill hundreds of thousands of people a year. I smoked them from the time I was 14 up until May of this year. Now May 15th this year, a buddy of mine turned me onto these electronic cigarettes and I being the super science freak that I am researched everything there was and I checked out all the different brands and I bought two. I bought actually two different brands. I bought one from the most popular that there was at the time called Blue um, which a lot of people's like, oh, these are the best for the most expensive, rah, 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 because I mean, I don't do anything in a small way. And I bought one from another company called Volcano. And everything I heard about both companies was absolutely true. The Volcano stuff arrived in two days, the Blue stuff arrived in three weeks. Volcano customer service was right on, Blue, not so much. Now they're pretty much the exact same thing. They came from the same factory in China. I checked. If you saw the earlier videos, I took them apart. Same stuff. It's not just the product, it's the people behind it that matter. And that's why I went with Volcano. And because I made that choice, when they came to me and said, hey, we want to sponsor you, I was okay with it. It's very rare that we have a sponsor call us. So this, this was kind of a new thing. Now, what I'm gonna do is I wanna help them out. I wanna teach more people about e-cigs. I wanna teach people how to get away from the traditional tobacco cigarette. Because if you're gonna smoke, you're gonna smoke. It's your body, it's your choice, it's your life, and what you do with your body is your thing, and I don't care. I, I believe in legalizing everything that doesn't make you a danger to yourself or others. But this is something that worked for me, it's something I believe in, it's something that I wanna share with you guys. So that's the series kickoff, and that's the basics of it. So with that, we're going to launch into a whole series of videos on e-cigs, and we're gonna start out simple, we're gonna start out with the fluids. This is where it all begins. Now, with an analog cigarette, a traditional tobacco cigarette, you have fire burning tobacco, which creates smoke, and you inhale that smoke, and that smoke carries all kinds of stuff with it. It carries the nicotine that you want, and about 4,000 other chemicals that you don't want, but it carries stuff, and that's, that's the whole idea. It's, it's your sucking on something to bring a chemical into your body to affect your brain and make you not want to stab people. So, cool which is pretty much what smoking is. Now, with the e-cigs, it's, it's a totally different concept. The only thing that's the same is you're putting a round thing in your mouth and sucking on it, and nicotine ends up in your blood. Now, there's a whole lot of steps in the middle that they just get rid of and they fix with electronics. So the way it fundamentally works is you have a battery up front, you have an atomizer here, and you have a cartridge with fluid in it. Now, this fluid is made of propylene glycol, which is an inert buffer solution. It's in about 10,000 different things that you eat. Um, water and nicotine and flavoring. And no, no, that's it. That's all it's in there, really. It's that simple. Now with a cigarette, 
you're still getting the nicotine, but you're getting the 10,000 other chemicals and the tar and the, you know, lung butter, okay? These don't have that. It's vapor, it's mist, it's ethereal. It's fabulous is what it is. Because with this, you can taste things, you can smell things, you don't stink anymore! And you still get nicotine and don't have to stab people which is really cool because I don't know if you're aware of this, but they don't pay me to do this job. I do this job because I love what I do. They pay me to not stab executives in the neck. So we're going to start with the fluid. Now the basic fluid comes in two forms. Most people get the carts, but that's for amateurs. And we're going to teach you guys how to hack and get to the next level. So here's the carts. We're going to take a look right here. This is what they look like. There are cartridges. And they come in these particular flavors. Okay, this is, this is, I think I've got them all. I might be missing a couple because they come out with new ones all the time. But these, these are the ones that I know. They've got watermelon, which is really, really good. Like, better than sex good. Okay. They got coconut, which all my friends like, but doesn't do it for me. They got menthol, which is pretty much my main flavor. Pineapple, which all the guys in the lab like, but uh, to me it tastes like pineapple. And pineapple in a cigarette just... Pineapples for pizza. That's just me. But it is. I like pineapple on pizza. Um, now we've got tobacco, which is a good generic tobacco. I have yet to find a cigarette that tastes exactly like it, but it's close enough. If you've smoked like, you know, Reds for 28 years, rah, it's going to be different. It's different. It's like smoking something that isn't that. But it's still got a tobacco-ish flavor, and it'll be enough to get you through. Um, coffee, which... It is kind of like a really strong coffee. It's, really, it's kind of sharp. Um, milk chocolate, which is great. The girls love the chocolate. The cherry lava, which is one of my main flavors. I love it. The blue water punch, which is the greatest flavor ever and tastes... It's, it's one of the two things in here that tastes a lot like something else. The blue water punch tastes a lot like Hawaiian punch to me. And the cherry lava tastes like cherry Jolly Ranchers. So that's just me. And then vanilla bean, which is uh, generic vanilla. It's one of my favorite flavors. Now these are cartridges. And there's five carts in each one of these. And this works like, think of this like a pack of cigarettes. Now I was a pack a day smoker. Once I got into e-cigs and, and got my feet under me and I wasn't a total noob to it anymore, I was, my baseline level with these is about two or three cartridges a day. So a box of this will last me about two days. Now a box of this is about 350 or so. It changes. But figure about 350 for a pack of these. Now that's two packs of cigarettes, roughly. Now a pack of cigarettes in Michigan, when I quit smoking, prices vary state to state. I know they're cheaper in like Indiana. But in Michigan, they were $6.70 a pack in May when I quit. Do the math, okay? $6.70 a day is what I was spending on that versus $3.50 every two days. This is better. Okay, now here's where it gets really cool. The next step beyond carts, because you can use carts, and there's nothing wrong with it. And a lot of people do, and it's simple and it's easy and cool and rock out. And I use carts all the time. If I'm out in the field um, doing like gigs and that, I use carts all the time. But for the regular, I'm hanging out at home, sitting in front of my computer, doing editing, doing office work and stuff like that. I like to use the straight fluid. Now, it's the exact same stuff. The stuff, the, the fluid in there that they put inside the cartridges and the raw fluid that you can get in the little bottle is exactly the same thing. The difference is the bottle will last you a month in excess. I, I, it takes me over a month to go through a bottle. Now, the way that works is you can get all the fluids and all the flavors you want. Okay, like there's, there's pineapple and there's coffee. I mean, every flavor that there's a cart for, you can get the straight fluid. Now, the way it works is the fluid, just like the carts, comes in strengths. I use 8 milligram. Now, that's the equivalent to a light cigarette. Um, that means that there's 8 milligrams of nicotine per milliliter of juice. And the, the carts, I don't know if you can see it, but if you look really close, you can see it on there. There's a little sticker. It says medium. That means that these are 8 milligram carts. Um, they, they go all the way from zero nicotine to you're going to die. Um, but I, I'm an 8 milligram guy. Now, to use the straight fluid, you go through the, the whole dripping, dipping stuff, and we cover that in a different video. I'm just going to touch on it here to show the basics of it. But if you want to use just a straight fluid, we'll grab vanilla to be easy. Now, here, Corey, zoom in really tight. Can you see that there? Like super zoom in right on the tip. 
You got Just it? Just a second. Okay. We're going to give Corey a minute to zoom in really, really tight. Well, no, I was putting it on. So. Oh, okay. You got it? Yep. All right. Now, to drip, you just, you've got your cartridge like this. Okay. Here, I'm going to get, am, are you, can you still see me? You in a good yes. spot? All right. You so you, moving your I'm trying to, but I want to get on both cameras. All right. So you've got your cartridge on here. This is a regular volcano. And you can just put a drop of this right here. Now, when dripping for the volcano, two drops is totally enough. And you can see that wicks right in to the wick. Okay, it, it absorbs in through capillary action. And then you put your cap on, and you're set. You're all good to go. And that's how your volcano works. And that's, that's the handhold, too, by the way. Here, look, look at my hand. You grab this down low, and you can spin that off and hold the cap with that hand. And then you do that with that hand, and then you drip on there, and you're set. That's, that's how I do it. Took me a couple weeks to get the, the move down for that. <laughs> but that's it. And that's, that's the dripping. And that's really weird when you mix it with the menthol. But yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's the basics of the juices. You can get the juices in all the flavors. And if you really want to save a ton of money, that's the way to do it. Use the juice. Um, it's, it's under 10 bucks for a thing of the juice. And we'll put a link to the juices right here. There you go. That's all your e-juices. And we're going to talk more about how you can drip with those using the drip tips, which are these nifty little guys, which we're going to talk about in a second. Because you can use these in all three. You can get This one is for uh, either the magma or for the inferno. They make a different one for the volcano. But drip tips are where it's at. These are awesome. And we're going to talk, be talking about those in an upcoming video. So stay tuned. We'll be back with drip tips. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.